Okay, welcome to this video. We're going to be talking about calculating percentage changes. So an important part of financial management is to be able to calculate the percentage change between two values. So you have value 1, it gets changed to value 2 over time, and you would like to know what the percentage change was of the original amount. Okay, so a couple of more key terms we need to think about. So one of them is profit, which is equal to the selling price minus the cost price. And loss is another one, which is the cost price minus the selling price. Okay, so you'll sort of see them happening. It's profit and loss is something that you want to be able to recognize as part of a problem rather than necessarily get it by the kind of answer you get in the end of that, if you understand what I mean. You want to be trying to expect, oh, I'll get a loss at the end of this one, or I'll get a profit at the end of this one, okay? Right, so to calculate our percentage change, so the, the key idea here is that they've got a change going on. So first we subtract the final value from the initial value, uh, and this will get us an amount that the percentages, that the values have changed. Then you create a fraction of that change over the original value. Okay, then we multiply that fraction by 100% and that gets us our percentage in the end. So, example one, Johnny, good old Johnny, bought a second-hand bike for 50 bucks, did it up and sold it for $70. What percentage profit did he make? Okay, so, um, percentage, percentage profit, on the bike is equal to, well let's look at the change first, hey? So the change is equal to the final 70 minus the initial value which is 50 and that gives us $20. Okay, so the percentage profit on bike is going to be equal to the change over the original which is 20, 20 over 50 times 100%, 20 over 50, if we chuck this in our calculator, 20 divided by 50 gets us 0 0.4 times 100%, which is 40% change, okay? Another way that you could do it is you could go as a percentage of one value of another, so percentage 70 of 50. Okay, to find what percentage $70 is of $50, you just go 70 over 50 times 100%, and that's going to get you in the end 140%. And you can see straight away that this is a profit of 40%. Okay? So that's something you can see straight up. And that's both of those ways are valid. It doesn't matter which way you do it. As long as if you need to tell me what the profit is, that you tell me. Don't just leave it at 140%. Okay. Second example, mining company pays $80 million to establish operations in Western Australia. However, after selling their minerals, they mine that only made $70 million. What percentage loss was made on the investment on the mine? So let's look at our change, which is equal to the final minus the initial. So they made $70 million and they, but they'd invested 80 which leaves us with negative $10 million. So the percentage change is equal to the change amount over the original times by 100%. And so that gets us negative 10 over 70, uh, 80 is our original value, sorry, negative 10 over 80 times 100%, which gets us negative 12, or negative 0 0.125 times 100%, which is negative 12.5%.
Okay, and that obviously indicates a loss. Okay, um, that's probably the best way to do that. You could even see, go alternatively, you could go that the percentage will be $70 million over $80 million times 100% which will be equal to eighty seven point five percent which you can see is a loss of twelve point five percent okay so there's a couple of ways to go about this either way it doesn't really matter just as long as you're communicating what's going on and you most importantly answer the final question in the end would be great to do okay so i hope you enjoyed the video please come to class with any extra questions that you have and um thank you for watching